Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> so guys, I hope you are so tuned in and I hope you're great. Thank you so much for tuning in and please don't forget to subscribe, to like, to comment and also hit the bell for notifications guys. So, um, I know you must be wondering, Wuti, what the hell is going on here? So, um, I've decided to do my very first story time, as you can see. And so, I decided that, oh, I have never done the story time before. Why not do one? Because this was like a challenge that I did for myself. I did... 15 videos for December that was like um, a thank you to my fans and the people who are supporting me it was a thank you to you guys for um, the support so I thought let me do a challenge for myself to do 15 videos and post them all in the same month so this is the last video and I know the last video is like a whole different setting it's a story time so I hope you guys love this video and appreciate it and I hope you share it to everybody, 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 yeah boo. <laughs> so guys, uh, this story is not really about me, but I am part of the story, like I was there when it happened, I was like part of the whole incident. So it's... I wouldn't say it's a sad story now because the whole mood has changed because it happened, you know, but then it was a sad story. So the story is about my friend, Uspesile. Oh guys, I'm burning. Oh, these ring lights are just not doing the things to our makeup. But anyways, so guys, <laughs> this uh, story is about my friend, Uspesile. Uh, she is a thespian. We met. When did we meet? I think 2016. Yes, we met in 2016. We were shooting a short film. And we also went to uh, the same training, acting training. And yeah, the second time that we did a movie together was actually on the time that this whole incident happened so yeah so yeah um when was it i think it was early this year when was it march yeah march march april march april may yeah but it was early this year when it happened so we were shooting a short film called butterflies the trailer is actually on my channel, so please guys do check it out. It's a love story. It's about a girl who is in love with two people. Okay, not, not really in love with two people, but like she is confused of who to take, you know, because they both. Yeah, so I was the girl. <laughs> I know <laughs> anyways <laughs> so I was playing the girl oh my god <laughs> it's a very beautiful story uh, I think you should check out the trailer you will see what I'm talking about you will get to see what I'm talking about talking about talking about eh, 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 eh. <laughs> okay guys uh, so Please do check out the trailer. It's on my channel. Please do. So on the last day of the of shooting that short film, what happened was I was supposed to go back to Pretoria because of um, I stay there. Yeah. So uh, so I obviously had to take public transport, and it was late. It was around eight nine. So we had a lift. We got a lift. So it was actually the three of us. It was me. It was Udingaletu. He was. All, he's also a thespian. He. It was also U specific. So we got a lift from this other friend of mine. She is 
she was also part of the production so we had to go and uh, she gave us a lift to Joburg CBD so yeah she dropped us off at Brie Takes Her Rank so when we got there I was like I felt something you know when you have this gut like this feeling you know when your instinct tells you that something is gonna happen and I thought about it and I told them and I was like you know what guys I feel like something bad is gonna happen today since when we were here we, were, we are here you know and they were like no why are you being negative stop being negative don't 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 go never and I'm like guys I'm not being negative like I'm not being negative I'm just telling you guys something is going to happen They're like no if you say that yes it's gonna be happening it's gonna happen because you you telling it out to the universe and don't 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 I'm like I know what I'm talking about I'm feeling something and it's you know and I was like you know what let me just sh shut my mouth my big mouth and just leave everything and if it happens they'll say no you were negative it, it's because of you and don't 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 I'm like okay cool let me just shut up fine we got off at pre taxi rank and then we took a taxi from pre taxi rank to Wanderers taxi rank when we got to Wanderers taxi rank we okay we got we dropped off there and I saw Wanderers taxi rank for the very first time guys <laughs> Yo, listen it was not the first time seeing Wanderers taxi rank but no actually Wanderers, Wanderers street but that day it was the first time seeing Wanderers streets i think it's because it was at night and like there was so many people and it was so dodgy and it was so scary and it was so dark and i was so scared and everything was just happening at the same time so we got off there and then we walked within like five seconds of us walking i don't know what happened oh what actually happened was the, there was a car coming by above so it came by so we had to move so us moving was basically slept behind so was a little more so by her slacking behind a guy from nowhere no I don't know if that guy dropped off from the sky or what I don't know but from nowhere guys he just came held was basically that like this <laughs> like this and he snatched her wig my goodness I was like what the what the what is going on you know what I was so scared like guys I was really 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 scared Like the thing it happened really fast and I don't know I, like I just don't know what happened it just happened fast and the wig was gone within like one second the wig was gone and the guy he ran to nowhere like literally nowhere because we couldn't even see him and it was crowdy and it was dark The day was too much guys and the funny part the funny part is when we got off the taxi we were actually talking about stories about getting mugged who specifically was actually telling us who said yo guys I, I got mugged here once and they took my phone they took my stuff they took everything and I was like and within that process or within that moment I'm feeling scared and my gut is obviously telling me that something bad is going to happen and now pa we are talking about getting mugged and can you imagine that guys can you just imagine that oh my god 
imagine we're talking about getting married and then not that I'm like facing trauma you know what I'm just going through the most and then this happened the guy you know he held her like this like this like so she couldn't do anything basically because so, if someone holds you like this you are like literally powerless like powerless oh guys I couldn't like I just couldn't you know what I did you know and obviously we couldn't fight this guy we couldn't just fight him I'm sweating we couldn't fight him we couldn't do anything there was no way you can do anything yeah when I enjoy work CBD guys if you try fight someone who is mugging someone trust me that person is gonna come to you and he's gonna probably stab you or something hence why people don't do anything you know what I did same time guys like I don't wanna lie and I felt like at that point in time I had no choice but to do it but to do it because me also I was wearing a wig and I remember I was wearing this other black denim jacket of mine and I was just like thum, thum, thum. and I walked because why and I was so scared <laughs> you should have seen me you should have seen me I was walking in front of both of them and they were at the back holding hands I'm like you know what I don't even want to even walk slow like I was like and I'll, I don't I don't even care I'll get to empty and taxi rank with my hair with that hair and luckily the girl had like proper chondros unlike this girl unlike this girl yo guys I never ever ever have proper condos never ever I think it's because I do not own condos and I'm just like and so the week because why I don't know why I think it's because I can do my own controls but not perfectly like not in a way that if someone would start that trick on me in public because I wouldn't be able to stand it like I would never be able to stand it so whenever I'm in job with CBD I don't think about my phone getting taken away from me my bag like my personal belongings I never think of that I think of my wig guys <laughs> I literally think of my wig Uti what could possibly happen if my wig and I'm in your wig <sighs> so yeah guys that's the story and like telling you even today I'm still shocked because I feel like uh, why do people take wigs now what are you guys gonna take next let me think what shoes okay they do take shoes what's next if you guys are taking wigs then what's next Please prep us, please tell us so that we can know not to buy those things because you guys are gonna take them away from us. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much guys for sitting with me on this um I wouldn't I don't know how to call this story, but let me just say on the story time. And I just hope you enjoyed yourself and I hope you do subscribe like comment tell me what you think tell me your thoughts about this tell me if you once had an experience or anything um, also please hit the bell for notifications 
and from me it is a goodbye i hope you enjoy the rest of your day okay the rest of your night <laughs> yeah bye guys <laughs>